Hello and welcome. So in this I'm roughly going to go over the three categories of phasing in this video. So we're going to have beelining which is the basic uh, phasing technique you can do while playing the spirit. And then there will be mind games which is kind of the medium-ish learning curve um, aspects of her phase walking. And then there's the third category which will be prediction and that will be like intercepting. So what I want to do now is I just want to briefly go over the perks. Um, generally you can run whatever you want on her. It doesn't really matter. What I what I got here is just just to uh, slow down the pace of the game, uh, get more hits, do more pressure, and stuff like that. Obviously the Rancor and Save the Best for Last combo is actually one of the best combos in the game in my opinion now. Uh, it's actually really good because you can dodge decisive strike, uh, keep the pressure on and you don't even have to hit the obsession the entire game while keeping all your stacks and you just kill her at the end. But I'll make a video about that later on, um, on how or why I think it's really good. But yeah, the stuff that I want to generally say is just don't run these two perks. Uh, definitely don't run Predator because you're going to become really reliant on shorter or tighter scratch marks when really you want to learn how they are naturally because then you can just put any you can just replace that perk with something much better strider is you don't most of the time you don't need to run this it's unless iron will becomes really meta and it could that could be a thing because to be honest they are going to be buffing spirit which is a bit crazy. I know the community is kind of divided on whether or not they think Spirit is actually good or not, but in my opinion, I think she is. But hey, um, but yeah, you don't really need Strider because you're going to be paying attention to grass. Um, birds are going to be flying away when survivors run past them, and you can also see survivors jump into lockers and phase in as well. So you won't be paying too much attention to sound. Uh, apart from when you hit them and you're listening out but if you can't hear them it's not exactly the end of the world because you can still hear footsteps and you and this doesn't increase the sound of footsteps I pay more attention to the sound of footsteps than I do grunts um, so that's something to note you shouldn't always try and base your sound off of breathing and grunts footsteps, grass birds and scratch marks that's generally what you want to be you know paying attention to when you're when you're in phase walking okay so we're going to go over add-ons now basically they all the the common add-ons all the way up to the green ones all do the same thing they decrease charge rate they increase movement speed they increase duration recovery speed all stuff like that right up into the green ones if you just bought the character, you're probably going to want run uh, charge time. I'd say charge time is the most important stat to her because it gives the survivors less time to react. So that's generally what you want to be going for, in my opinion. Duration add-ons are the worst stat. I think you can stack considerably increased duration and the other one and it's like a max of like what 8 to 10 12 seconds it's just terrible uh, I've used them a few times I just think they're absolutely trash I think they need additional effects in my opinion or they need to increase it even more probably to tremendously not considerably because the more time you spend in it anyway the harder it is gonna be tracking the survivor so I don't think it's that great. Um, but yeah, this is a really good add-on. Uh, the amulet, 
increases everything across the board apart from the charge rate. So you're probably going to want to run like a build like that. Uh, the passive stack in, which is these two, so they increase the passive ability, which is the passive phase in duration and the frequency of the passive phase in. Now I'm going to have a video in, actually it's going to be in this video, it'll be later on, and I'm going to be showing you exactly what it looks like from the survivor and the killer's uh, point of view. So that'll be really handy to show you, because I don't think anybody's actually shown anything like that yet. Uh, the mother-daughter ring and the decreased charge time are both... Prob Actually, this is probably the best build in the game, in my opinion, that you can run on her. Uh, if you're new to this character, you probably might want to run these two items. Um, what this one basically does is reduces uh, or increases even the reappearance duration and reappearance movement speed. So you can pretty much get about halfway through tracking them uh, through scratch marks and then reappear and then you'll shoot forward for like four or five seconds and if you do a lunge when you come out like an attack when you hold down the button you actually go miles forward like y you go insanely far forward and it's really good at catching people that are standing at pallets you'll be surprised how far you forward you actually do go uh, I think that's very strong, this build. The prayer beads apparently bugged at the moment. It does it does seem like they're not uh, reducing any kind of stat at all when it comes to the sound. Uh, some people have said on the forums and stuff that it is actually bugged. And next patch they're actually going to make it so it's going to completely get rid of all sound. Uh, I think that's going to be a bit crazy to be honest. Uh, they should probably move that to ultra rare and move the father, father's glasses down to just rare because I honestly don't think father's glasses are that good in my opinion. But hey. But yeah. We're going to continue on now to the main aspect of the video and we're going to show you how to play in the three other categories of phasing and what you need to learn about them. So hopefully this helps you out and if you enjoy the video be sure to like it and share it and perhaps even subscribe. Thanks.